So I have little ones and it's just so sad. An undeniably senseless and emotional crime. A young life cut short, caught in the crossfire of a freeway shooting. Now the search is on for the people behind the wheel and the gun that claimed the life of a 23-month-old child. With that, we say thank you for joining us. I'm Dion Lim. Developing news tonight about that shooting. It all happened yesterday afternoon on I-880 as the family was driving near 7th Street in Oakland when two people inside two cars exchanged gunfire. ABC 7 News reporter Cornell Bernard says investigators are searching for the suspects in this tragedy. It's just so devastating, so sad. Shock and disbelief over the sudden death of Fremont toddler Jasper Wu. His family's neighbor, Lucy Tovar, was stunned to hear the sad news. I can't believe it. I mean, I see the family always in the front of the house with their little kids. Relatives say the 23-month-old was asleep in his car seat, riding in his mother's white Lexus on southbound 880 in Oakland when the car was struck by gunfire Saturday afternoon. It was like a caller was reporting two vehicles shooting at each other on the freeway. They got another call in from it. There's a child that's bleeding from the head. Little Jasper was rushed to Oakland Children's Hospital where he died from his injuries. This dash cam video was taken after the shooting. It shows police on the freeway investigating the chaotic scene. We heard it actually was a shooting and that was maybe an hour later. And then when we heard it was a child involved, it was just heartbreaking. The CHP says the child was likely caught in the crossfire of a freeway gun battle, saying in a statement, evidence collected on the northbound side of the freeway may indicate the victims were not targeted and the child passenger was struck by a stray bullet. The family was too upset to be interviewed, but told us off camera they want those responsible to surrender. Oakland City Council member Noel Gallo was outraged over an innocent life lost. The reality is this is insanity. You know, I, I see it every morning. The gang activity has risen, especially when it comes to the little ones, the young ones, uh, family members. That's it's unacceptable. The CHP now requesting tips from the public to help catch those involved in the gunfight, while an East Bay family mourns the unthinkable loss of an energetic little boy with a big smile. In Fremont, Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News. Gone so soon, heartbreaking doesn't even begin to describe. Well, Fremont police today tweeted condolences to the family, saying that they are saddened by the tragic event. The department says its chief has been in contact with Oakland's police chief, and they mutually share concern and outrage.